What's going on everyone? This is Marco once again with Selena's Travels and this time around my family and I went to Disneyland in Anaheim, California for my daughter's uh, birthday party and first visit. So when arriving, you once you get there, you give them your tickets. And for some reason, this time around, um, it's been a couple of years that I've been to Disneyland, but this time around for 2022, uh, you give them your ticket, they scan it, and for some reason, they take a photo of you. I'm not sure why. Um, they only took a picture of uh, my girlfriend and myself, and they did not take a picture of my daughter. So I have no idea what the reason was for, but if you have any idea, feel free to let us know and just drop a comment down below. And as I mentioned, it's my daughter's first visit and her birthday. So when it's occasion like this at Disneyland, go to any uh, shop, store, and uh, let, let the staff know. And they will give you a free pin showing that it is the person's birthday and or first visit. As you can see right here, we uh, this uh, store did not have the birthday one. They did have the first visit. Um, so my daughter was okay with that as we ended up putting it on and there you go. I believe they usually change uh, yearly so uh, this is the pin for 2022. And then we took pictures of the, the mouse. Uh, the reason it's pumpkin because it was uh, in October so it's closer to Halloween time so they customize everything for Halloween. Next thing is that I got my daughter her character signing uh, signing book. You can pretty much get this at any shop store. This shop store, uh, obviously, of course, they have multiple types of uh, autograph books, what they call. And it's just mainly when you meet the characters, uh, they'll, able, they'll be able to, to sign it for them. And then you can also, when they take a picture of Heather, you can attach the picture into the autograph book so of course when it comes to autograph book you know you get to meet many characters such as mickey minnie pluto and so many others um you know be mindful of their their time changes for the characters uh so you just have to be mindful of where where they're going to be located at and at what time sometimes you may get lucky like right here with uh Pooh and eeyore uh, we got lucky because both of them there, were there at the same time. So, of course, my daughter will be able to get two autographs in one, you know, one going, as well as being able to take a picture with both characters. Sometimes you can have Mickey and Minnie at the same time. Um, so, you know, just be mindful. It, you know, it does change, but a lot of times they do have, you know, the times already on there. He's right there. <laughs> oh, go give a hug. Hi, come, come, come here. Come here. You're okay. Go give him a hug. Hi. Hi. You want this? Okay. So of course, uh, then we begin uh, going on to the ride, and this is of course the castle that is well known for Disneyland. Um, for Disneyland, the is a a total of uh, nine sections that are broken down. We uh, obviously, of course, went through this castle, and the castle leads into what they call Fantasyland, and it's mainly rides for smaller children. So we uh, quickly started off with Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs uh, roller coaster, as you like to call it. Um, most of these rides at Fantasy Land are slow ride, um, which go through a storyline of the theme that you are, you know, you're going through, which is mainly Disney movies or shows. Um, for this one, you know, it is uh, a perfect ride. It's a, a cart with two columns. Um, mainly, you can sit two, maybe three in each, uh, you know, in each one. So we were three this at this time. And of course, like I mentioned, it goes through a small theme of Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. Next, uh, at the Fantasyland, we have the Merry-Go-Round. 
And the merry-go-round, you know, could be written by pretty much anyone. Um, it could be adults or children. Of course, they're mainly children. Um, you know, it is always good to, you know, uh, if you have smaller children like mine, mine is only three years old, uh, you know, to be right behind her, just like I am right here. Um, they do have a safety strap. As you can see, there's a brown safety strap around her waist, just under the number three, and it does connect. So they will be safe. And then next one was Pinocchio, which is, like I mentioned, is similar to the Snow White uh, roller coaster or ride, if you would like to call it. Um, similar uh, uh, seating platform. You know, you have two rows. Um, you could fit two to three people. And you just, you know, get on and you just pull down on the handle. They're, these never really have any types of drops or anything like that. They probably go about maybe four miles per hour, if that. Um, but then it goes through another, you know, theme of the story of, you know, the movie or show that you're watching. This is, of course, the circus train. This is not really any type of movie or Disney uh I, uh, Disney movie or show it's just a little ride for mainly kids um, they do have many attachments that are either open or closed such as this right here where we went in and it's you know a cage um, so yeah we just go in you sit down they'll lock it from the outside um, to make sure it's secured and you just go around uh, the little train tracks and you'll see you know some art you know artificial um designs that were made and created by Disneyland. Next it leads to the Mr. Toad's ride. Um this is uh obviously mainly uh this is more of an older Disney uh movie um or show that they also had back uh, for Disney that they made. And this is also an older ride once again. But this one does have only a single seat. So it's only good for two people. And then you, of course, go through another theme of the Mr. Toad's uh, uh, movie. And you just go through the ride and then enjoy it. And then the next one is Peter Pan. This one is also a single row, as you can see. And it's shaped like a boat. And the reason it is shaped like a boat is because it's kind of it goes with the theme of Peter Pan when, you know, the boat is in uh, flying in the air when they go to Neverland. This one we were able to fit three people. So some rides they'll allow you to, with only two, or some will allow you with three people. And of course, this also uh, starts off and it makes it like the boat is flying like it did in Peter Pan, and you go through. Uh, the theme of Peter Pan movie. And then after that, you uh, we went to Mall World. This is a nice slow ride while sailing on a boat. Um, this is probably one of the longest rides uh, in Disneyland, I believe. Because, um, it, it, you know, you go very slow. Um, it's a nice cruise that you go through. Um, and the reason that... It's uh, pretty lengthy because it goes through a variety of cultures um, within the world. And that's why it is called a small world. So it does show like, you know, a lot of different types of cultures from different uh, parts of the world. And it's a nice, you know, cruise. Um, there's no drops. You're literally probably going about maybe two, three miles per hour. And the next thing is the main train, that this train goes around the entire park of Disneyland. Um, this train can easily take you to other sections of the park without, uh, you know, you doing those long walks. And like I mentioned, there are nine different sections at Disneyland. Um, Disneyland, it is, a, it is a big park. So, you know, if you don't want to walk from one side to another... The train is always uh, accessible, you know, for people to go, uh, get get there. The train is not only for, you know, just uh, getting from one place to another. While you're on the train, you do get to experience, you know, the Disneyland, of course, 
and then throughout the ride you'll they'll have small um certain areas where the park has designed it for people to you know interact and be able to take pictures and videos such as this where they have uh a nature looking exhibit that later leads into a dark force showing uh thunder and lightning um so it's pretty nice uh, it's pretty entertaining it's good for you know um you know getting from one side to another uh the train does not go that fast so that's the only downfall but you know it's safe um for you know your family and your young ones So from Fantasyland, this led us to our next section, the New Orleans Square, where we then got on other rides such as... Which was Jungle Cruise. Jungle Cruise is a boat ride where we go and see certain wild animals. Of course, these animals are fake. It is mainly a storyline that Disneyland made up, and it's mainly to attract you know people while you know, you're sailing on this boat. So I Just right there, you'll see some elephants. Um, and, you know, when you have a good person uh, giving the storyline, it makes it for a quite entertaining uh, show in a sense. And right here you will see uh, rhinos and then there's a so-called staff employee there. Uh, next we went to Pirates of the Caribbean, another uh, boat ride which is uh, very nice. It has a small storyline of the movie Pirates of the Caribbean of course. Um, it is another uh, uh, boat ride which uh, is nice and slow, it cruises. However, this does have two small drops. So there is a possibility you may get wet, um, but it's nothing as big as Splash Mountain or anything like that. But they does have two small uh, water drops, especially if you have young ones. I know my three-year-old kind of got scared. We did uh, Winnie the Pooh, uh, and of course, it's you know the ride is mainly like a honeybee uh, jar, if you like to say, and it has two rows. Um, two or three people can sit in each uh, row. Uh, Winnie the Pooh is uh, another uh, storyline where this one, of course, because Winnie the Pooh is mainly a show. Is a storyline of them surprising uh, Pooh with a birthday party. And of course, here's the party with uh, Pooh and all his friends. And after finishing up uh, the rides, we went and got to eat at Pizza Planet. There are many other restaurants, of course, but this was uh, one of the nearest ones that we decided to go to. Uh, Pizza Planet is mainly Italian food, so it does have uh, entrees such as pizza, pasta, and salads. For Pizza Planet, you just order with the cashier. You will then get a receipt. You would then go to one of these sections provided to one of the other staff employees who will then bring you out your menu or your entrees, uh, including your drinks as well, which all they do is bring you your cup because you are able to get unlimited refills right here. Um, there is more of a variety on these fountain drinks than there was on the menu. And as you can see, I ended up getting pasta and my girlfriend got pizza. 
Um, at this time, my daughter was not able to eat because she was asleep. Um, like I said, it's a big park, so it does get you tired. But other than that, it was a great visit. Um, like I mentioned, it's been approximately maybe five years the last time I came to Dis Disneyland. And this time around, it was uh, very enjoyable. I enjoyed it. Um, all the rides were literally within five to ten minute wait. I think the longest we had to wait was uh, 40 minutes. And that was for Pirates of the Caribbean. But none of them were as they used to be where they were about two hours long. Um, but I believe that's because with the Disneyland, they currently have what they call the reservation. Um, you have to make a reservation. This started when the pandemic started. And, uh, you know, uh, there's only a certain amount of people that can get uh, go in on certain days. So that way they don't reach their capacity. And I believe that's why, you know, their wait wait times weren't so long. It wasn't as crowded as I, as I recall. But my three-year-old enjoyed it. She loved it. Um, I'm pretty sure she's going to want to return once again. So other than that, if you have any other questions or con uh, comments, feel free to let, uh, drop them down below. I'll be gladly to answer them. Um, we did. We enjoyed our time and let us know what your favorite ride and when the last time you were at Disneyland was. Um, but other than that, I will see you guys next time on our vacation. Appreciate it.